YouTube, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another mukbang. Today is Wednesday, so we are doing Wing Wednesdays. We have Wingstop Wings today. This oh, alliteration, I see you. What? We have Wingstop Wings today on them W's. <laughs> see what you Why want? did you say that in a accent? I did not. We have Wingstop Wings today. We have Wingstop Wings today. We have Wingstop Wings today. I did you not. did? I did not say it in an Asian. Racist I did not say boy. it in an Asian. <laughs> Vietnamese, none of that accent. It was just. Anyways, we have the Korean, um, the spicy Korean Q. We have lemon pepper, mm -hmm. and we have mild. We also have fries, ranch on the side. So now let's get started. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh. Before we get into it, I'm gonna make me. And truffle ranch. <laughs> Can you tell them about your little ranch or your little oil here? Oh, I mean, it's white truffle oil. I googled the uh, best truffle oil and this was number one. So I went to Amazon and I bought two bottles of it. And I've been truffling everything ever since. I had some truffle eggs, had some truffle guacamole, had some truffle chicken skin. Um, truffle mac and cheese before I got over here. Um, I've been he truffling it up. Yeah, he's <laughs> been putting truffles on everything. And hey, oh. it hasn't been bad, but it hasn't been like mind blowing. Um, I had truffle smoked oysters. That was bomb. Oh my god. The only one that was a little weird was on the chicken skin. Mm -hmm. Because like chicken skin already has a good flavor yeah. of its own. So yeah, it was a little weird. But other than that, it's been bomb. Okay, so my first wing, my first bite will be a lemon pepper. What do you think yours is gonna be? I'm going mild, classic mild. mild. Yeah. Okay. I smell the truffle all the way from here. It's so amazing. It's all the way, like you're not right next <laughs> All <time>. the way <laughs> from here. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Yeah? We all. All right, he's going mild, I'm going lemon pepper. Let's go. Mmm. Can't beat classic mild, man. So good. I've never really been a fan of the hot ones, but mild, that's my jam. So, I'm pretty, well, not, I wouldn't say I'm Can pretty. Can I see that? <laughs> yes. Out of nowhere, I'm pretty. I'm pretty turned off from mild mm -hmm. because there was this one time where I went to get wings with like this group of people that I didn't really know. Mm -hmm. But like they just invited me, right? And I came. And the, all they ordered was mild. Yeah. So I was like, Say. Bro, add something in there, you know? You don't have to add something, people. If you like mild, get mild. <laughs> mm mm. Mild and um, hickory smoked or honey barbecue. Those are my go-tos. Used to be lemon pepper. Then it became a little too too zesty for me. What? Never. It depends on where you go. Mm. But Wingstop's lemon pepper has always been pretty bomb. Yeah. Um, what about when you go to Buffalo Wild Wings? What, what's your favorite when you go there? <laughs> to not go there. <laughs> nah, Damn. um, last time I went to Buffalo Wild Wings was with you when we tried that burger, which oh, was yeah. bomb. I really did like the burger, but, um, the wings, I'm not a huge fan of it. I feel like it's really hard to go wrong with a barbecue anywhere though, so I would probably get that. Um, I don't like their mild. Mm. Yeah. What about you? For for Buffalo Wild Wings, I usually get the Asian Zing, I think, mm. and the garlic parmesan. Mm. The wet garlic parmesan. Garlic parmesan, man. You can't go wrong with that. You can go wrong with that. Really? I always go wrong with that, but it's not the flavor. I think garlic parmesan is one of the best combinations of flavors 
out there, but for some reason, it's always like a little, a little wet, but like clumpy or whatever. It makes me want to puke. Oh, is it the smell of it or what? Not the the, the way it feels in combination with the smell. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It has that cheesy, but like, yeah. I understand what you're talking about. Yeah. It tastes so good, though, mm -hmm. but yeah. But you have to get over that past yeah. initial. I puked three times. And after that, I was like, okay, I can't do this. Yo. First time, I was like, fluke. Maybe I was eating too fast. Maybe it was the ranch. Second time, I was like, I was just thinking about the first time. <laughs> but the third time, I was like, all right, I'm done. No more. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> only, only a fat person would eat three times. <laughs> <laughs> to stop up it was a food. Speaking of Buffalo Wild Wings, have you ever told them the story about the boneless wings? When you were... <laughs> oh my god. Sheesh. Such an embarrassing story. It's so embarrassing. So embarrassing. I'm gonna try one of these. It's kind of spicy. I know. Just letting you know. I, I feel kind like of. it's spicy, but I'm gonna go for it. Yeah. Okay, so story of what happened at Buffalo Wild Wings. Mm -hmm. A while back, before I started even dating Rick, before I even knew Rick, yeah. Um, I went to Buffalo Wild Wings with my ex, and we sat down, and we were looking at the menu, and I was ranting about how much I didn't like um, boneless wings. And he, and then when it came for time to order, this dude ordered boneless wings. For himself. No, he ordered it for us. Because it was, it was like, a, I think a, on a Tuesday or, or Wednesday or whatever it was, mm. where they have like 50 cent boneless, boneless wings. Um, when he ordered that, he asked me, like, is it okay? Like, the, the, the waitress was standing there while he was asking me. So I was just like, it's fine. Just order it. I was already pretty annoyed at this point because he knew. He knew. Like, it wasn't like he didn't know. He knew that I didn't like boneless wings. And it's just like, why did you just turn around and do that to me? <laughs> I felt so betrayed. <laughs> so when the wings came out, I just sat there and didn't eat. That's so childish. So childish. Then you like storm off. Mm -hmm. All right. So I was previously under the impression that he ordered himself bonus wings. Oh, no. And then you got mad. Mm -hmm. So I was really like, yo, you was tripping. Like you was super tripping. If I was him, I would just let you go, right? Now that I know he ordered for both of y'all, it makes it a, a little different. Yeah. <laughs> but still, here, here's the thing. If I can get into his head for a second, mm -hmm. I ain't balling. <laughs> we came on a specific day because of this specific deal. I'm trying to get out of here paying for some 50 cent wings. Secondly. But listen, we didn't even plan it. We just had to do like an oil change across the street and we had to like wait. Okay. Whatever. It's just nuggets. <laughs> I, I hear you. Mm -hmm. I don't like that they call boneless wings wings mm -hmm. when they're nuggets basically. But I still eat them shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's nuggets. I don't think he thought you were that serious about hating them that you wouldn't eat some perfectly good chicken hey, just because of the name. No. Listen. Honestly, when the wings came, mm -hmm. I wasn't even mad anymore at the fact that he ordered boneless wings. Mm -hmm. I was pissed at the fact that, like, how could you? <laughs> how, like, I, did you not hear what I said? We had a, like, it was like a conversation. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just like something I said under my breath or something. Yeah. He knew. He like he heard me. You know, like it was a conversation. And then for him to just order it, 
like just say like flat out order it and then for the employee to stand there and then him asking me i was just like bro what the fuck do you want me to do right now in his defense <laughs> he asked was it cool <laughs> you could have been like ah oh, actually we need a minute <laughs> like what the fuck i just told you i don't like boneless wings <laughs> i was so annoyed bro <laughs> like why would you do that <laughs> Why? I still think you handled it completely wrong. Of course. <laughs> ah, good stuff. That was super childish. Super. Has you have you ever done anything super childish that you were like, damn, that was like really childish? <laughs> yes. What? Uh, how can I tell? Tell me, tell me, tell me. I'm trying not to incriminate other people. <laughs> damn. So I'm in Vegas with the homies. First time in Vegas, right? Mm -hmm. First time, first time, me and the homies, we broke and shit though, right? All of us are in one room, <laughs> we pitched in on it. We ain't really got no money to do shit. Aw, then why you guys go to bed? <laughs> because, like, this is this was like at the beginning of like YouTube and shit. Mm. We was making a little money, we thought like, okay, let's go. And we didn't know how much you needed for a successful time in Vegas. So we get out there and like they bought some alcohol and shit to have stocked in the room. We had a cool little room at the Luxor, had a jacuzzi. Oh, that's and cute. Shit, the right? Luxor is the pyramid, the pyramid one. one. Yeah. Alright. So everybody's single. We're in Vegas. We're thinking we about to get some ass. It's about to be one of them weekends. So we there. Were you excited? Oh, we were all excited. So we're there. Not going as planned. <laughs> we, nothing. Nothing's happening. Nobody's looking our way. You didn't have no plans with no girls, mm -mm. no nothing. How did you expect to get the ass? Because it was Vegas. All mm. you hear about is going to Vegas and being at the club and this girl wants to, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. we thought it was going to come easy. So we get there a couple of days, nothing's happening, right? On the last day, one of the homie vows. <laughs> To get him something like, man, fuck this. I'm going to make this happen. We didn't even really think this shit out because we all in the same room. So like, <laughs> <laughs> weird as fuck. Yeah, like what's going on, right? So on the very last night, we get back to our hotel. We walk through the casino. It's this cute little, uh, she's probably Filipino, Filipina chick, chilling at the um, slots by herself. So one of the homies is like, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> like, go for it, bro. So he goes over there. He's like, yo, uh, how you doing? My name's blah, blah, blah. He's like, hi. So I said, hi. He's like, you here by yourself? I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh, well, I mean, me and my boys got a room upstairs and alcohol if you want to come through. She's like, sure. So <laughs> it's just all happening so easy for him. He's like, right, dope. Well, let me get your number. They exchange numbers. He set it up for later. He had to go do something. He comes back. I feel like, like I know who this is. <laughs> you might. So he's like, yo, I got her number. And he's like, dope. Congratulations. So we get there. It's getting late. And me and the other homies were stupid. We're like, I mean, you could go like around that little side because it was like room where the beds are. And then it was like a little corner mm. with a separate wall. We wasn't going to leave the room, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> Y'all rude. Yeah, we was we were stupid. We were young as shit. We were stupid. So, the girl comes up to the room. She changed. She's looking all cute and shit, right? So, they go over into the little cut. They there for like 20 minutes. No, not even 20 minutes. Maybe five minutes. <laughs> and then he's walking her out. And so, we're like, the fuck? And she's in front of him. He looks back at us and he's like, Right? Like he mouths it. And we're like, oh shit. We hadn't we didn't know nothing about how Vegas operates, right? So he walks her out, he walks down the hall, and my dumbass goes to the door, opens it, and yells down the hall, prostitutes is the shit. What the fuck? I don't know. I, that was probably the most childish shit I've done as an adult. How old were you? We were we were all just twenty one. 
<laughs> we're all just turned 21. <laughs> and he said, they heard me. I couldn't even see them anymore. So I don't know how they heard me. But she was like, classy. <laughs> Oh my god. Bruh. Children. No, a child. It was just me. I, that is like one thing I regret for sure. Doing that. Did she see you? Shit. Um, no. Oh, okay. No. I mean, she saw me when she came to the room, but when I said it, no, she doesn't know who said it. Oh, okay. Yeah. But still. Wow. <sighs> Good time. Super childish. <laughs> yeah. Any childish behaviors in relationships? Uh, or with girls? Mm. No. I don't think so. Have I? Would you? Mm -mm. Mm. No, you don't play games. Mm. You're very straightforward. I used to be really jealous. Really? Mm hmm. But in my head, it was with reason. Because mm. I, I caught a girl in a lie. So from then on out, everything mm. she said was a lie. Babe, can you tell them that Aramark story? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Rick has this really, really funny story with his ex. <laughs> Go for it, babe. Now, I don't consider this childish. It's not childish. It's, funny. it's funny. All right, so I had this ex, the one I was talking about, who I caught in a lie early on in our relationship, right? So, But instead of leaving, which I should have done, I stayed, but treated everything she said like a lie from then out. Like I felt like I couldn't trust her, so I had to question everything, right? Mm. So one day I'm at her house and um, she wanted me to call someone from her phone. I'm in the phone and I'm looking for the number and I see this number that I don't recognize, a name that I don't recognize. It's Aramark, A R. A M A R K, right? So I'm like, yo, who, who is this? Who is who? I'm like, who is this? Who is it? Aramark, Aramark? What, like, who the fuck is Mark? <laughs> He's like, I don't know any Mark. I'm like, his number is in your phone. What do you mean you don't know a Mark, right? He's like, I don't know how I got there. I didn't put it in my phone. So I'm like, bro, some, somebody else is storing numbers in your phone? Like, that doesn't right. make any sense. What are you talking about, right? So she's just stinging to it. I don't know what you're talking about. It wasn't me. I swear. I'm not talking to anybody. Yada, yada, yada. We get into this big fight that ultimately goes nowhere. Because she won't tell me who it is. I can't prove anything or whatever, right? And then she does what girls typically do when they call. Call it. Call it then, right? But I'm like, I'm not about to sit up here arguing with some dude. Because my chick is fucking around. I'm mm -hmm. not calling the number, right? So I never call the number. <laughs> then maybe like two weeks later, I'm going somewhere and I see this big ass truck. And I say it's now hiring. And the name of the company is Aramark. <laughs> and it's the same uh, area code as the number that was in her phone. I was like, <laughs> turns out. Her aunt worked there, gave her the number because they were hiring, tell her to come get a job. But I'm like, why, why didn't you remember that? that? I'm like, why didn't you remember that? Like, I didn't put it in the phone. She did. I'm like, my bad. I felt, I felt stupid. Damn. Yeah. So did she know? Um, She knew her aunt was doing that, but she didn't know, like... The name of the company. No, like when you it. found out. Oh, yeah. No, I told you? her. <laughs> I told her. I wasn't just going to be like, oh, all right. <laughs> what did she say? Uh, everything that I just said. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Now I felt stupid. I mean, I would too. Mm -hmm. What would you like to know about me, babe? Um. Mother? <laughs> Damn. I know nothing. Damn. <laughs> um. I don't know. I don't know. I've never been good at asking questions. Because hmm. I, I rarely believe the answer. Oh. Why are you so... Because people lie. When it's get to know me questions. Oh. People don't... People very rarely tell you who they are. Mm -hmm. You have to learn. Um. 
You know, so I just stopped asking. Oh. You know, it's kind of like, what's your, what's your biggest toxic trait? I love too hard. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. That's dumb. Okay. <laughs> what do you think your biggest uh, toxic trait is? I love too hard. <laughs> <laughs> My biggest toxic trait. Yeah. Um. Well, see, that's the thing. How do you think you're toxic? I don't know. I don't. But <laughs> I can think of annoying things that I do. Like what? <clears throat> I suck at just listening to a problem. Why? I'm always going to try to give you a solution. The mm -hmm. other day... You was ranting to me about something, and I'm like, don't don't tell her what she should do to fix that. Like it was just fucking shaking inside of my head. Oh my head. god! I will tell you later tonight. But <laughs> damn. But yeah, like I really suck at that, knowing full well that girls just want to be heard mm -hmm. sometimes. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's like. There's an easy fucking solution here. Why, why do we have to stay mad? Why do you have to stay mad and whatever? Well, we can just fix it. So, yeah. I think I really suck at that. Like, really, really bad. Mm. Um, I suck at not correcting people. Even sometimes if I stop. What are you talking about? I'm always correcting people. Oh, yeah, because I was like... Yeah, you're I always... suck at not correcting oh, people. Oh, I, I heard I suck at correcting people. Oh, no, no, no. I'm amazing at correcting people. I know I you are. I suck at not correcting people. Even when I try really hard not to, my face says, mm, you're wrong, but I'm not going to say anything. But <laughs> I suck at that. Um, is that toxic, though? No, but it's annoying. But, tell you, those are two of the biggest annoying things, and there's more little ones. Well, well I don't have one, so... <laughs> Would you like for me to answer that for you? Yo, scroll. <laughs> Let me correct you. <laughs> um, I think my biggest, like, number one overall toxic... Damn, that's a whole, like, leg. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a... That's for you. Babe, that's for you. I'm good. Really? <laughs> what the fuck is that? I don't know. It's on steroids. Holy shit. <laughs> Where are these chickens coming from? Jeez. Uh, your biggest toxic trait? I am such a hothead. <laughs> yeah. I react with so much emotion. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. A child. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Accurate. <laughs> like... I feel my body getting hot and I just have to release it. Yeah. You know, like I can't just like tell myself, okay, calm down, think it through, blah, blah. Like in the moment, I am just going at it. Like in my head, like just all these thoughts and then like I have to <clears throat> express it physically. Yeah. So yeah. that. But I know it's like this is something that I can change, obviously, but... That's definitely one of my biggest toxic trait. Yeah. I'm very hot headed. Very. Very. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I feel the heat coming off your head right now. Ooh, you know what? Last lemon pepper. Ooh. Do you want anything? No, thank you. Oh, so that makes me think. Yesterday you asked me um, if I thought we were similar. <coughs> mm -hmm. And off top I said no. Because I like. Not in many ways. We do shit differently. But I think this is the reason we work. Because imagine if I wasn't so logical and practical while you're um, ridiculous hot head. <laughs> it would, shit would not go. Mm -hmm. Shit would not go with. We would not talk to each other like how we talk to each other. Yeah, I don't think we'd be talking to each other soon. Yeah. yeah. Or it would be a really bad, abusive relationship. Yeah. In some way. Yeah. Not like abusive, but like mentally. Like, oh. Yeah, because I don't do I'm more of a 
<laughs> Shut the <laughs> fuck up. We don't joke about um, that around here, okay? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, let's go with that. I love you, dude. I love you. <clears throat> so, Rick and I have been staying with each other for the past few days, <laughs> and it's made me realize that I really like you. What? Like, you're growing on me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't really know someone until you like actually eat, sleep, live in the same space as them, you yeah. know? This is definitely the longest we've done that. Yeah. Prior to that was what? Vegas? I think your birthday? So, yeah. 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 This is damn near two weeks. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. <clears throat> well, thank you for being in my video. Thanks for having me. <laughs> thank you for um, enjoying this meal with me. And this part of it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, you guys, for hanging out with us. Thank you for eating with us. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. But in the meantime, you guys can find more of me on Instagram and Twitter at Twitter Bay. And I'll see you guys next time. No, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!